What's up guys, welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. <laughs> In this video, we have a lot to talk about. Uh, mainly, we're going to talk about Lieutenant Colonel Scheller, um, who's currently incarcerated uh, by the military, and give you options to help him out. I did a little research, um, and we'll talk all about that in a minute. My thoughts on what's going on from my limited knowledge um, and, and all that jazz, because you guys seem to think uh, that my opinion matters, and I still haven't convinced you that my opinion does not matter and that you probably shouldn't listen to me like at all when it comes to political stuff because I don't pay attention but I have an opinion so I'm gonna give it to you you asked for it so before we do that do me a favor guys I have um, first hit that like button let's get a thousand likes on this video I appreciate you guys that stuff helps a lot um, and I know all you hardcore you know followers and people that really get something from this channel um, I know you guys are already hitting that like button and to you guys I appreciate you so we're doing a giveaway um, it's going to be the Eagles and Angels hat these are sold out. It's uh, the, the flag is part of my deployment top um, that those guys over Fort Bragg made. Uh, awesome dudes. You can't buy these anymore. They're completely sold out. So I'm going to sign this one and give it away. Um, also with a signed copy of my book, Rising Above. So in order to get the details on that giveaway, I need you to go to the FNGacademy.com, the store, um, and sign up your email because we're only going to kick out rules and dates and deadlines through our email list. Um, our email list, we're trying to build up so that way we can keep in touch with you guys outside of just posting videos for updates. We have some amazing things dropping on the FNG Academy, um, and we'd like to be able to just keep you guys up to date through emails. I promise you we won't bombard you with random shit or bots. Like What we send out will be from us, um, and it'll be important. Also, you can get this sweet shirt, which you can wear underneath your combat top. Um, that's why they look like this, by the way, guys, and they're this brand, so you can wear them in your uniform. So let's talk about Colonel Scheller. Real quick, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. Go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness and get physically prepared for selection so you can pass the first time. Guys, Kevin is the man. He's the one uh, to help you get there. Uh, great uh, brown belt jiu-jitsu, active competitor, former Green Beret himself. Go check out Kevin. Make sure you tell him Buck sent you. All right, guys, so let's talk about Lieutenant Colonel Scheller. Who is he? What's going on? Uh, if you haven't heard by now, he is a Lieutenant Colonel from the Marines uh, that is currently incarcerated for speaking up about um, his leadership's decision and the way they went about the withdrawal of Afghanistan. I think that we could all agree uh, that that was a shit show, right? So um, why he would be locked up for that uh, is beyond me. So when you guys mentioned if I could talk about it, um, and I think it's important to do that, not to be clickbaity, not to uh, jump on some bandwagon, but to bring awareness, uh, bring awareness to the channel, bring awareness to you guys. Because here's the thing, you guys help. There's a lot of you that are on this channel that, man, if I bring some awareness, you're like, how do I support it? You're giving money. We've raised 6000 for the Green Beret Foundation. We've raised over 5000 for uh, Warrior Dog Foundation. We've raised uh, nearly 5,000 for no one left behind. So you guys are hot shit. So that's why when things like this come up, I think it's important to talk about it um, and to bring awareness because you guys will handle business. So uh, currently what I've researched is that Lieutenant Scheller, like I said, he spoke up against his command. Um, he was told to stop, to be quiet, to quit uh, talking about it. And he did not. Uh, he was putting out videos, talking, uh, criticizing, um, certain leaders, presidents, um, about their withdrawal from Afghanistan. I didn't look into the videos and I didn't get knee deep into what exactly he said. Um, all I know is currently he's being held in um, military brigs, which is the army jail or the marine jail, military jail without charges. So here's the thing that people need to understand and guys and girls watching this need to understand. And this is something that's important. I'm glad it came up. For all you guys that want to be SF, you want to join the military, you need to understand the risks. And Lieutenant Sh Colonel Scheller is facing those risks. He's dealing with those risks right now. Um, you have the law, which gives you certain rights um, as a citizen of the United States of America. Well, there is boundaries uh, and you have those certain rights. One of those rights is the freedom of speech. 
Well, as soon as you decide to join the military and you sign that dotted line, you go to MEPS, uh, your ass belongs to Uncle Sam. So now your rights are diminished uh, exponentially by UCMJ. So now you have two governing law systems um, that will throw your ass in jail. You have the law, you know, that you have to abide, the U.S. law. And that law is not taken away from when you join the military. It's only added to. Uh, that's a saying in the military they use all the time. You can't take away, but you could add to. Right. So what did they do? They took the law and they added to it a bunch of things. I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. Um, this is a true story, regardless of how ridiculous it sounds. Uh, in Afghanistan, we were counseled, um, meaning that a higher NCO uh, read us a counseling statement and made us sign this statement. And in that statement was the fact that we could be put to death for treason. Um, and this was obviously a threat to us. And our whole team had to sit in this room and sign these statements saying that we acknowledge that we could be uh, under UCMJ, that we could be put to death for treason against this particular individual. I am not even fucking with you. We all sat in that room and looked at each other like, is this real? Is this guy really making us sign this? He actually thinks he's going to put us to death anyway. So yes, there is some straight up nonsense within uh, UCMJ and things that are outdated that just haven't be, been pulled out or things that are just so like um, outlandish to protect the US, to protect the United States from um, you know terrorists that have infiltrated uh, the military. That's really what those things are about. It's, it's really out of fear that um, a terrorist is going to infiltrate. Uh, or spies and infiltrate our military. And we have all these crazy laws within the UCMJ to, um, to deal with that. As to where outside of UCMJ, we wouldn't be able to do much because that would be a violation of that person's rights. So UCMJ is, uh, could be a fucking crazy realm. And that's why we have JAG. We have JAG is our own lawyers uh, within the military who focus on um, UCMJ and then relearning, uh, you know, basically uh, a different kind of law. Uh, that's that's my take on it. That's my understanding. I am in no way a, a professional or uh, well versed in this. Um, just someone who has served, um, has served at that level, and has seen uh, you know threats of UCMJ happen against me and my teammates that just seemed absolutely ridiculous. But technically, he was not wrong. I mean, that guy who made us sign these counsels counseling statements as outlandish and out of his mind as he was in that moment, in my opinion, um, he's not wrong. That's part of UCMJ. And, and that's what makes it even more bizarre, right? So yes, there's craziness. So let's talk about Lieutenant uh, Scheller. That's what's happening to him right now. So he is uh, freedom of speech as a US citizen. He would have been able to criticize uh, his leadership for doing that, no issues. But the confines of UCMJ, he's not allowed to do that. Um, I think it's ridiculous that, again, limited knowledge. Um, I have an associate's and a bachelor's in criminal justice, which I guess you could say is pre-law, but that's fuzzy. Um, in my law enforcement experience, you can't hold someone without charges, right? Like, you know, as a citizen, that would be uh, violating his rights. But apparently, as UCMJ, you could do that. So is that messed up? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, and I'm glad that this is that people are paying attention to this. And I'm glad that people are raising money to help him. Um, and just so you guys know, I'm pretty sure Pipe Hitter Foundation, Eddie Gallagher, you know, Eddie Gallagher had his issues and was uh, locked up and received a pardon from uh, President Trump. So I'm going to link the Pipe Hitter Foundation below. Um, so if you guys want to donate, you can go and donate to them and you can keep track on their Instagram on where they're at. Uh, with representing uh, Lieutenant Scheller and uh, Lieutenant Colonel Scheller and helping him out. I think they just had an update um, either yesterday or the day before that I was talking about they postponed um, they postponed everything until next week. I think that may have been to give uh, his attorneys some time to figure out what's going on. But either way, Lieutenant Colonel Scheller, in my opinion, should not be in jail uh, for this and he needs to be released immediately. But you know, what do I know? That being said, let's put that one aside and let's focus on 
the people I'm here to help. And the people I'm here to help are the people that want to go special operations or want to go into the military, things like that. What is my opinion for you guys and what do I think you should take from this? I think you need to be very careful about understanding UCMJ because it is serious. I mean, um, Eddie got lucky that he got that pardon uh, and that would be terrifying. Like, I think that would take years off my life if I was ever in Eddie Gallagher's situation to where I, I knew that like I'm facing murder charges. Like that would, that stress alone would, would probably take at least 10 years off my life. So you need to understand UCMJ. I would start digging into a little UCMJ. It wouldn't hurt you to understand your limited rights once you sign into the military. Um, and I'll do another video about losing about those rights uh, later because I know you guys have been asking about something very in particular. And, uh, and that's not steroids. That's... <laughs> <laughs> the other shot you guys ask a lot about the not steroids one. Um, I'm going to talk another video about that and my opinion on that. But really, this explains it. You join the military, you give away a lot of your rights. So I hope that helps, guys. Um, yeah, click on the link below. Let's help out Lieutenant Colonel Scheller. Let's raise some awareness for this dude. Let's get him out of, the, out of prison. Come on, man. What are you doing? He's a lieutenant colonel. Uh, he served so much. He's given so much to our country. The last thing he needs to be is held up in a prison for, for criticizing uh, something that was clearly a mistake. Um, did he overstep in UCMJ? Yeah, probably. Will he get punished? Yeah. But jail? Get the fuck out of here. Come on. That's ridiculous. All right, guys. Hope that helps. Click the link below. Let's show him some love, show him some support, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Oh, yeah. Go check out the FNG Academy and check out that one chip challenge nightmare that we did. Blech. I thought it was going to kill me. All right, guys, talk to you next time. There's a lot of stress that comes with trying to go this route. You know, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety. Yeah. So now that, how can we use content to, to let them let them laugh, let them see that we're normal ass people. If we can do it, they can do it. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this painting with Buck Ross. Right, here to help you guys. No, not today. Gear review. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait till you read the book. The book goes into things that were really difficult to talk about. It goes into my failures. It goes into my failures as a Green Beret. It goes into my failures as a man, as a husband. The things that we went through growing up, getting shot at as a kid, things like that. Like, it's deep. If you guys have wondered how I've managed to get from basically, you know, a police officer, no one knows who I am, to where I'm at now, um, Obviously a huge part of that is I put together an amazing team. Two Green Berets and an amazing videographer, all of whom I've known for years. They're, some, they're my best friends. I've worked my ass off. I've spent probably about $5,000 in plane tickets uh, over the last year. Um, we started Wine and Rations with Andy Stump. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Recently, I was reached out to by a dude named Bedros Kulian. I reached out to this guy and I was like, hey man, could you be like a surrogate dad, older brother uh, figure for this guy? And he said, yes. step off to go to basic to go to selection to start your journey I highly encourage you to do this one thing and this is my last bit of advice to you before you guys leave and you can't watch the FNG Academy for a while and you have to keep you know my voice ringing in your head help other people